Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a recent acquisition from a company called Kilk out of Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, this pen, funny enough, also came from uh, Galen Leather, which is out of Istanbul as well. This comes in two models, all turquoise brown, and this particular one is a mix of turquoise brown and a uh, cloudy white resin. Both of them are in the resin pen. I've only seen this at Galen Leather and I believe Kilk's own website. Um, other sites like Gold Spot or Pen Chalet have Kilk as part of their brands, but they don't carry this particular model. Um, and I like this one above just all brown. Not a big fan of brown pens, but this one because of the mix kind of worked with me. Box did get a little damaged on the shipment, but it is a nice magnetic clasp box. You get a polishing cloth with for the uh, sterling silver band, and just use care guide and then warranty guide. And then the pen itself is in a nice uh, cushioned, I wouldn't say pillow, but just a case. Uh, let me take it out of its pen, plastic pen. See, put it back to the side. So this is the Nouveau Baroque. Um, as I mentioned, I like it more because of the fact that it's the turquoise brown with the cloudy white uh, body versus all turquoise brown. And they do have that. Sites, like I mentioned, um, Gold Spot has it in all brown, and I believe uh, Pen Chalet also has it all in the turquoise brown. But again, not a big fan of brown, so this mixture kind of worked out nice for me. It's your standard cigar, cigar shape. Um, it is a limited edition, but not numbered kind of scenario. And you can see some of the resin, um, cloudy resin aspect of the pen right here. So that's kind of what I like a little bit about it. Um, it is a sterling silver band, hence the polishing cloth to kind of help you adjust that a little bit. Um, it does come with a number six uh, Bach nib. And I did get this in a broad so be mindful, the lining for like, I typically do mediums, but this one on some of uh, another Kilk pen that I got in medium is a little bit thin for me. So I went with the broad on this one instead. Uh, it does have the nice uh, Kilk uh, logo onto there, as you can see uh, across the nib itself. And other than that, other than the logo and the nib type, um, there's no additional branding. Um, and then your standard ABS plastic feed into it. Now it is a cartridge converter pen, so you can, uh, I should show you that. Um, you can use standard international uh, cartridges, or it does come with the converter as well inside of it. And it's also uh, branded Kilk as well too on the uh, metal there. Now this, in, as I mentioned, is part of a multiple lines with it. These are the only ones that I've kind of really liked and enjoyed um, from a visual perspective as well too. The other two um, that I have from them, if you're looking at it, is we've got the Nouveau here and then we have the uh, Orient and it's also very similar to shape and size. It's got the nice sterling silver band uh, more of a fishtail towards the bottom of it instead of, you know, obviously cigar shape. And then the other one is their Celestial model um, as well, too. It's got a similar resin as the the Baroque one here, uh, just a bit more chatoyance and, and more uh, see-through and transparent. You can actually see the converter um, on the inside of here a little bit. Um, as well. So these these are the three that kind of, and then of course the top has the nice finial cap as well too. Um, these are the three that kind of from Kilk's lineup have spoken to me a little bit. Um, I'm not sure about the other ones yet, maybe they'll grow on me, but these are the three that kind of really set it apart. And they all come in similar packaging um, within it. I believe the Celestial I got in a medium. And again, these are all cartridge converter or standard international cartridge, and I believe the Orient as well. I think I got in a medium. Um, so I went with the broad and the Baroque, uh, just because I think I forgot which one I wrote with, but the medium was a little thin for me, so I might try to 
uh, play with it a little bit to see if I can get it to be a little bit wet, wetter rider, if you will, versus um, what it is today. But that's kind of a little bit of, of the overview of the Kilk pens. Um, and again, writing sample, just from my notes um, that I took a little bit, you can kind of see that it does have a nice uh, a line variation in this. And then this is uh, Noodler's Base State Blue ink. So um, it does leave a nice little line. Uh, not too thick. It's kind of what I'm used to. The other mediums were a little too um, thin for me, so you really weren't going to be able to see a little bit of shading. A little bit of a hard start there, but uh, that's just me because I'm basically doing it as a dip. I didn't really ink it up too much, but that's kind of what the writing sample looks like if you're looking at it from a medium perspective. It's not too bad. Um, so that is the Nouveau Baroque uh, fountain pen from Kilk out of Istanbul. So hopefully you enjoyed it and a little preview of it. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, and for those that have, thank you very much for reaching 100 subscribers. I appreciate it. And hopefully I will continue to grow that and add more content. Have a great day, guys.